All right, guys. Welcome back. So, the other day, the day before it dropped, um, we played it day one when it when it came out. Obviously, the game released in early access, and uh, we played it. It is what it is. Um, we there's a, a lot of issues with the game that we're going to kind of talk about here. Now, I wasn't even going to do another stream of the game, um, at least until I seen like some improvements or whatnot, but I've had so many people commenting and asking me and, and DMing me, um, asking like, you know, what are my thoughts, like overall thoughts, or, you know, what do I think about the game? What do I th So I figured, all right, today, and the, there's only, actually only one reason why I even did this stream today was because the developers actually did already release a hot fix, um, trying to like fix the game. Or whatever, or fix some of the issues that were brought up, and it, that caught me off guard because I, the way the game was released, the way the game was dealt with before release, I honestly didn't think either a we would ever get an update for the game, or they were really gonna drag their feet on like fixes and stuff like that. So I was like, I had no hope for there to be any changes or fixes or anything coming down the pipe anytime soon. But uh, within a day or two of the game dropping, uh, they did already drop a hot fix. Uh, there's a bunch of like, uh, you know, like big issues like duping and things like that that they fix. Uh, the three main things that I seen um, that, you know, kind of actually did interest me was... Uh, they improved the mechanic of spawning the of the infected to increase the chance of encountering them in the world. So one of the main issues is, is they marketed this game as a open world zombie survival MMO. Um, and that is not what we got. What we actually got is a extraction shooter. But when they were asked outright if the game was an extraction shooter, they said no. But if you guys haven't played this game yet and you you know you're expecting a open world zombie survival mmo you know which is what we all went into thinking this was going to be um, um if you've ever played the division um this is legitimately the division dark zone i like the same exact system as the division dark zone minus npcs or i guess you could say you could switch out the npcs with the zombies um you leave your safe zone or whatever and you go into the world and once you load in it's completely separate instance of you know your safe zone and you load in you you're in this open world which is you know it is a pretty big decent sized map I, i'll give them that the map is decent size uh but then it's just players running around looting and then you have to extract. So it is an extract extraction shooter. You go in, you get loot, you leave. So it's like Tarkov. It's like the Division Dark Zone um, and any of those other extraction shooters out here. Now, if they would have just marketed the game right off the bat as an extraction shooter, they probably would have had a lot more success because they didn't like legitimately, guys, I've watched so much media on this game. I've watched all the trailers. Um, they never once even like hinted toward it being an extraction shooter and that's exactly what it is um so that there, there was that whole situation going on and then you know the situation with there being like no zombies um was kind of weird uh the alarms i know the alarms were bothering a ton of people um which here guys one of the things that they changed was uh do, 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 where is it fixed that the alarm sound could play indefinitely <laughs> So I guess they squared that away. Um, the task rewards uh, were only a thousand, and those tasks were quite grindy. And it was like, what the hell's the point of doing this? You only get a thousand coins. Uh, they did boost that up to five thousand, which is which is pretty decent. Uh, it says right here that they also improved the first and third person shooting performance. Now, one of the issues I had, you see it probably towards the end of the stream, was um, there was guys who were like shooting me through shit it was it was weird it was like i was crouched down in a firefight with this guy behind a car i didn't see him at all but somehow he was still shooting me it, 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 was, it was wicked wicked weird so um i absolutely i actually got off the game after that point because i was like man i can't I, this is unplayable at this point like i can't even fucking see the dude and you can see me like no it, 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 it was it was dookie guys so um they added a couple changes to the game uh, that supposedly, you know, they're, they're cleaning it up. So there's that. Now, will I probably play this game like indefinitely? Probably not only because it, in extraction shooters really aren't my thing. I was here for the open world zombie survival MMO. And I don't see how they could transition 
what they have into what I wanted and what a lot of other people wanted. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people were looking at this as that huge, you know, MMO, that that Daisy killer, like all that, you know, like what people and, and then obviously in the end we ended up getting a uh I'd say a worse version of the division's um dark zone. So what I'm going to do today is we're just kind of just going to go in back in. I'm going to play it for a little bit. Uh, we're just kind of going to talk. Um, but yeah, I, I know a lot of people were let down. But then the good thing is, is there were a lot of people that surprisingly enjoyed the game. And I think um, the people that enjoyed the game are people probably who are fans of the extraction shooters. Um and if you are a really, really PvP focused person and you love that, there there could potentially be a game here for you. You know what I mean in the future. But um, yeah, I, I just feel like it depends on what you went into the game expecting. Now, this is another thing they did is they removed the servers that are full. Like so, now you can only go into servers that you can actually get into, um, which was a good change. Because, yeah, you you would sit there and you'd click on it and there was just a whole page of full servers. Doc gave it a 5.9. Uh, Darth Vader, what's going on? So uh, they also fixed uh, some of the optimization. That's why you guys can see I actually have it full screen. Uh, but, yeah, it's... I don't know. I I, I I better spawn in, and there better be, like, a thousand zombies, guys. <laughs> like, straight up, dude. Uh, George, what's up with How you doing? All right. So, before I started... I log I did log in to make sure that the display and all that shit was squared away and I, I bought a another rifle. Uh we got ammo and heels in a backpack. So we're just gonna go out with this and and see what's up. Uh no game sound, I got you guys. There you go. Now you should be good. Alright. Let's go. So yeah, guys, um I think the main issue. Uh, at least for me, let me know what you guys think. The main issue for me is just the marketing. You know, what they marketed the game as and then what we got were just two completely different products. Not even like they lied. It, like, like you know, like they, they, they showed us, you know, in hindsight, when you see it now, you're like, okay, like I should have seen it. You know what I mean? But... They could have just have marketed it as a zone. fucking extraction Collect shooter, as much dude. valuable loot as possible and return to Woodbury. Like, literally, just, just tell us it's a damn extraction shooter. Now, one of the main issues is I brought this up the other day. Uh, you know, players who really, really, really enjoy this game have probably been playing it for the past two days and are going to be super, super geared. So I don't even know what we're going to run up against. Um, but yeah, like this is it, you know, you load into the world um, You can come out with like nothing if you wanted to and then kind of just scrounge up resources, but as you can see still Not a zombie in sight Guys, you know what I mean? And that ain't it uh, One of the things that they need to really add is look there's no vaulting like you can't vault or climb on top of stuff Which I find to be extremely frustrating But yeah, there's still no, uh, not a whole lot, not a whole lot of zombies. And when I say not a whole lot of zombies, I mean none <laughs> right now. Uh, yeah, there's no melee, which is so weird. You know what I mean? Like uh, you get the zombies that run up on you and it's like, dude, what do I do? You know what I mean? I'm trying to stay quiet. I don't have a, is that a whole, there's no helicopters in the game. Um, that's a player. 
Yeah, the, the melee is a necessity. Uh, you know, DayZ has melee. It's not a great melee system, but the, it has something. You know, it has the option. Um, oh, shit. Nice. Hold on. Shotgun. Wait, where the hell did it go? Wait, what? Well, my, my, my shotgun just disappeared into the ether. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like that right there, that, that's very, very disheartening. Like, you know, I was, I was really, really excited about that. I thought maybe it came down into my, my weapons, but no, that shit is, it's just gone. Took my zombies. Took my shotgun. What else are they gonna take, chat? <laughs> the zombies refunded the game. <laughs> It's actually a pretty big POI. Whatever. I didn't want to loot it anyways. Is there anybody in chat that, you know, has played the game that, that's actually quite enjoying it? And got maybe got a vehicle yet? Has anybody got a vehicle? I know I've seen a lot of people say that they already, they refunded it already. And, and, yo, what the hell? I'm picking shit. Oh, okay. That, that didn't disappear. I was like, I, I, like I picked something up and it disappeared again. Now, I... I it, Riza says, you know, this is how Cyberpunk was at launch. Um, it will get better with it. And, and, and that's the thing is the game does have the potential to get better. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, no, you know, the day before is, it, it's, it, it's done. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's, I, it, it, it pulled a Cyberpunk. It came out. It was really, really butt. What the fuck, dude? Okay. It was really, really butt on release. Um, and say the game does get better and they fix you guys. I'm really happy about that fucking body armor. I'm not gonna lie, dude. That's the best thing I've looted in all the time I've played this game. <laughs> dude, let me see that real quick. Hell yes. Top class U.S. military grade body armor. And I got some key card here for door 241. Um, but my main worry is, are they going to actually fix the game? Because the, the reception is so negative, guys. It's so negative. You know, like, say a bunch of people bought the game, right? I, I, I don't know. Do you guys think that enough people are going to keep playing the game to fund them to, you know, actually have the resources to, to update the game? That that's the main thing I'm 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 trying to figure out here. I'm just gonna yeah, there we go. If I pull it over. Now hopefully the fucking body armor does something, cause it's not just like cosmetic. It said it, it had a little armor rating on it. Um, but yeah, that, that that's one of the big, the big worries, you know what I mean? Is it's all well and good. The game can be bad right now. Uh, they should not have charged $40 for it. If it was me personally, I probably would have charged, 
um, because the game is in alpha, or I wouldn't even say this is a, like, yeah, it's definitely an early access like alpha. Um, I would have charged people, this is my personal opinion, maybe $10 for, for early access to the game. And then when the game released, you know, like maybe charge people an extra 10 bucks or something or, or 20 bucks or whatever, whatever. I would not have charged full price for this. Um, at all. At all. Um, or, or, or even made it like a free trial. You know what I mean? Like if, if they wanted to still make money on the game, like, like let the alpha test be like free, dude. Make the game good and then, you know, charge a bunch of money or whatever you want to do. But the, the fact that they charged $40 for this. Kind of disrespectful. Um, yeah, it's just junk. Uh, but yeah, like I said, they, they, the game could get better in the future, but they burned a lot of people, you know what I mean? And w the one thing we've learned over the past few years, especially with games like, you just look at Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is one of my favorite games of all time, guys. It's in my top five greatest games ever. I think Cyberpunk is way better than, like, is, is an RPG. I think Cyberpunk is better than Starfield. I think Cyberpunk is better than almost every single Fallout game minus Fallout 4. Um, I think or, um, Cyberpunk is better than, like, most RPGs, to me personally. Like, my, it's in my personal top five uh, greatest games of all time. But when, if you were to ask people, some people are so burned by Cyberpunk when it came out that they'll never even give the game another chance. You know what I mean? And that's, they're just like, no, that game is garbage. And it's like, bro, have you even played Cyberpunk, uh, you know, since it's been updated? And now that's what this game did. This, they could go ahead and work to the next year and make this game amazing. But the day before will forever be known as, oh, that game is garbage. Yeah, that game is a scam. That game is this, you know, no matter how much um, time and effort and hard work they put into it. So we got to figure out how the hell to get out of here. All right. So we're going to have to extract north. Um, so yeah, it, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? They kind of, they kind of fuck themselves up at that point. You know, they. Damn. What the f okay. So you could tell that players have guns I have not even heard of yet. That sounds dangerous. Okay, we gotta, we gotta head north. Yeah, there's no zombies, guys. Even after their supposable fix, um, that was one of the things I was looking forward to, to logging in and seeing today was um, the reason why the PvP is so rampant, guys. It, it's like toxic levels of rampant, like, like rust. Um, because the players have nothing else to focus on. You know, if, if, if players were in these cities, right, in this big ass city, and they had roaming hordes or even just giant groups of zombies walking around, players would be less likely to shoot their guns like that if they were gonna get swarmed. You know, they would be less in, inclined to set off the alarms if they would get swarmed. You know what I mean? Like, players that have to be a bit more strategic. I got one fucking zombie, dude. And he came out of a car. And these zombies are tanky as fuck, too. They need, to, they need to make them die with one headshot. But for those of you guys who are even, uh, you know, that are, you know, still on board and, and willing to ride out the, 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 you know, development process for the game, the, the, the silver lining to this all is they, they are making updates. Uh, they did already drop two patches, which, like I said in the beginning of the stream, kind of surprised me. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect them to do that this soon. 
um especially with how the whole release of the game went um i thought they would definitely drag their feet a bit more i am getting a lot of frame drags though But yeah, the world just feels very, like, it, it's it's a pretty world, don't get me wrong, like, the map is amazing, um, you know, it reminds me a lot of The Division, yeah, that sounds like something I don't want to fuck with, um, but it's just empty, there's nothing here, other than, you know, the players... So I got a pack full of gear right now, guys. My goal is to get the hell out of the city. These play yeah, somebody's real close. Every patch will add one zombie. Oh, uh, one guy said that he was what? Oh, we got a zombie there, chat. Who? Somebody said uh, that a lot of. Like he had some stuff on him. Let's see if he pushes me. I think he's engaged with somebody else too. Damn, what the fuck? I feel like there's people everywhere. Incognito with the 28 months, brother. Thank you so much. So the one thing, guys, less alarms. We haven't heard the alarms, dude. So that was one fix that I, I give. I, I say, okay, they. Act, but this, where, the, where's the zombies, dude? Where are the zombies? I swear in that trailer we seen all there was a horde 
chat in that trailer, man. And and that's the type of stuff that 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 really really irks me. You know what I mean? Is they showed a full blown horde. Like if you know there's not gonna be hordes in the game, don't don't mark, don't put the fucking. Dude, you, you can't do that. You know what I mean? You can't you can't put hordes in the trailer and then and then there'd be three whole fucking zombies on the map for 40 players to to play with. Oh, they increase over time? Yeah, I mean, no, no. Cause I played for five hours, seriously. Seriously. Fucking thank you. Thank you. Fuck. Player right there. Guy's geared too. Not gonna get in any unnecessary unnecessary fights. Hopefully he keeps his head down now. Okay, so there's an extraction to the north this way. Up near motel. Well, the, the the good thing is is my whole my whole play in the game is so you guys don't have to because there was a lot of confusion. Um, I had people DMing me. I said, "Hey, man, why aren't you playing the day before? Why aren't you playing the day before? Why aren't you playing the day before? What's going on? Why aren't you playing?" And I'm like, "Did y'all not watch the?" So I wanted people to have a. I wanted to do this stream today so we could talk, and you know, showcase even after updates. Okay, like, is this something that you know they're actually going to work on? Is this you know what I mean? I want to. I wanted to address it because in my, the last stream we didn't really address it. Hopefully I don't get fucking extraction camped here. No, I fully played Redfall. Yo, I actually I actually enjoyed Redfall, man. Like I had fun playing it. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I, I played that game all the way to the end. But my my thing is is to you guys do not buy this game right now, like do not unless it's just your thing. Like you're looking at this game play right now and you're like, yes, I need this in my life. Um, like don't do it. Like, Stay still. Save the forty. Our boys are on their save way. Save the forty. Uh, save the forty bucks. That was a, a, a successful extraction, even though I got stuck. Hey, glad to see you're okay. Shall um, I open the storage room for you? I'm gonna store the gun. I always keep the guns. Store the water, key card, and the rest of this crap we could sell. I'll oh, store the extra backpack too. Ready. If you need anything else, I'm always here. 
Um, Ace Cub, thank you so so much. I really appreciate the super chat. Uh, the division should have added a zombie pet. Yo, that's yo. I was playing the division, and that's what I kept saying. Like the whole time I was playing, I was like, man, yo, the division should add zombies. Like they should have came out with like a zombie mode or something like that. Um, and then when I played the survival mode, yo, it was so good. I was like, dude, they could have just added like some zombies. It would have been it would have been great. Um, and Tojo, thank you for the super chat, man. Uh, zombies are on Christmas vacation, dude. They must be somewhere, dude. Uh, Days Gone is way better than this game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just a completely different type of game, though. See you again. Uh, Days Gone is a fucking top tier zombie game. Uh, I, I wouldn't, I would, I, right at this moment, I would not classify this as a zombie game. Like, period. Take the zombie out of the equation. Um, <laughs> other than the. I actually. Heading out? Other than the random, like, zombie you see here and there, this is not a zombie game. Um. <laughs> I actually got on people about Day Z because I honestly felt like Day Z, which is marketed as a zombie game, isn't that much of a zombie game, you know, because the zombie game, the zombies and even Day Z are kind of an afterthought um, for most people. So that's why I was like, like, yo, I don't to have some fun today. I don't even consider Day Z really See a zombie you, game. It's more of a PvP survival game. Um, and that's what this game is. I wouldn't even, but this isn't even a survival game. This is just a Remember, PvP game. Consider this. We're living in his. Hey there. Do you need something? Let me see. Put so your things in here. Made a little bit of more money. Um, I'm happy with my you gear. You don't have to worry about this. Take care of yourself. Like this dude right here, he's a real hero, man. He's running around, no clothes on, just... Try to scout people's gear, like other players. I haven't seen like a super, super geared player yet. Hey, how's it going? Uh, the key card for 241 is for the police station. And <laughs> they're basically counting on the players to behave like zombies. <laughs> you have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to Woodbury. You see what I'm saying? So this, it, it just has one of those, you know what? Let's actually go to the police station. Where is that? Um, we hit 19th. Let's go check out the police station. I don't know if you can get like cool loot out of there or whatnot. The police station is not good. No, no, no. So what you see is what you get when it comes to zombies. Yeah, guys, there's not like certain areas you go to certain times a day uh, because that's what I was thinking last time I, I was playing. I was like, you know, maybe there's a reason why there's not a whole lot of zombies or, you know, maybe it's a time of day thing. I, may, I thought maybe it was like dying light and they came out at nighttime, but no, there's just no zombies. There's just there's just none. But you see what I'm saying? Like these streets right now, I, at a minimum, I should see at least 10, 11 zombies. You know, just spread out here and there or have like little wandering hordes or something like that. You know what I mean? So the game's multiplayer only, um, which was another pretty big kick. Um that upset a lot of people is because you know I, I i i don't mind multiplayer games but i love you know my single player especially when it comes to like zombie survival games i love like you know my my state of decays and stuff like that where i can kind of sit back and go solo and um 
you know, thrive and survive and build up my, my stuff. Because well, some people just don't like PvP. And this game does not have any, like, if, uh, like alternative. Like, there's no PvE maps. Because if there was, then there would really be nothing to do. Um, so the game is, is pure PvP. The next patch will fix... Well, they, they said that they, they dropped the patch already that was supposed to fix the zombies. I read that in the patch notes earlier. So there's no pure pers first person view that I've seen. It. Um, there is ADS though. But you know, even games like Ark, you know, Ark is a, PV, uh, a PvP oriented um, multiplayer game, but there's still a single player option. That was one of the gripes I had with DayZ, was there was no um, way to play DayZ single player. Scared the shit out of me, you. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, uh, Mr. Elena, thank you so much for this. Uh, the, the membership, I appreciate it. Yes, if you get killed, you drop everything you have on you that's not in your safe container. There's a couple slots here on the bottom in your safe case where you can store items, and when you die, you get to keep those. I just hope the armor actually does something, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, this loot the zombie. I keep forgetting to loot the damn zombies, guys. What if he's still there? Yeah, I got some pretty high-grade armor here. Um, we got lucky and found it in the POI. Probably should have stored it realistically and kept it for later when... I wanted to go hunt players or something, but... Hopefully it'll help keep us alive. How far are we from this damn police station? There's one zombie right there. See, if I had a suppressed weapon, I would, I would, I would totally like go ham on that type of shit.
Oh shit, I got a suppressor. What's that go to? Put that in my... Put that in my secure case just in case I die. So I, I found a suppressor, guys. The interaction shit is so weird sometimes, like the... Whatever, dude, I don't even fucking care. One five nine need a key for that. Sounds like it's outside. Now they know I'm here. They didn't before. MRD, thank you, thank you with the super chat, man. Nah, man. I, I clear. I clear. It's third person, so clearing is pretty easy in third person because you can you can clear ninety percent of it with your camera before you even get in there. Oh, we're getting some. Better loot, at least, than I did my last couple runs. I'm actually getting, like, weapon attachments and shit. Mario, what's going on? How you doing? Guys, the, you know, the POIs actually got some pretty good loot. And I just got two fucking UMPs. Yo, I might actually try to extract right now. Yeah, the loot here has been actually 
pretty phenomenal. Now the question is, can I get the fuck out of here and not and extract out of the city with it? Without getting murdered. Let's see if we can get out of here. Right, so we're actually pretty close to the exit. Um just got to go out and go up that road there. Uh, Happy, thank you so much for the super chat. A uh, game has so much potential. Hope it gets No Man's Sky update treatment. Um, I hope the next Ghost Recon is survival. You know, that, you know, if they had a survival mode like this in Ghost Recon, that'd be fire. Uh, but thank you so much. for. And now that's the thing, guys, is the game could be decent for sure if it receives some updates. Like 100%. Um... Okay, I actually got ammo for this gun, too. Um, but, yeah, it just comes down to whether the devs are going to actually... Game has so much up potential. Update hope it, you know it gets I mean? the No Man's Sky update treatments. I hope also the next Ghost Recon is survival like this. Why don't I play Call of Duty Zombies? Um, only because it's a bit arcadey. Uh, yeah, I haven't played Call of Duty Zombies since, like, the old Black Ops games, honestly. Um, but I don't know, it's just never got around to it. Yeah, I don't know what that suppressor is going to go to. Um, that's why I'm just hoping I can get this shit out of here. So I would love to get back and store this crap. Somebody asked, why is the game so laggy? I've noticed that, too, that the server's quite laggy. Now, I got a question. If you're playing on one server, and I, if I were to leave the server and go to another server, um, is it like DayZ where you start a fresh character on each server, or do you get to just bring shit from one to the next? I have no clue. We will probably test that out. Shit, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I've been getting some pretty decent loot, man. All transfers? Oh, that's dope, then. <laughs> now, we actually had a pretty good run this time out. Um, I got two new optics. I got a suppressor. 
some guns. I got this fucking body armor earlier. So where do you buy cars from is the question. There's cars in the game, supposedly. Um, has anybody even seen a car yet? So there's hunger and thirst, but it's very, very lackluster. Like... You only get hungry and thirsty when you're out on mission like this, right? If I, the longer you stay out, dictates on like how much you need to eat and drink. But as soon as you go back to the starting area or the, the, the safe zone, it like replenishes your hunger and thirst. Stay still. Our boys are on That's their way. Run. Yeah, I'm going to go to a gun bench right now. I, 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 the one good gun that I have is that UMP. I could probably dress that up with the suppressor. Hey, good to see you. Now, that was a, anything of value for the storage. That was a good run, guys. That was a good run. Um, let me see. The rest of this crap we're going to sell. Hold on. I'm gonna, we're going to use this and this for our bullets. Nine millimeter, nine millimeter. What does this shoot? So the Hoffman 45 UMP shoots nine millimeter. What? What? Right, let's go. Come anytime. Take care of yourself. Uh, Death, thank you so much for the re-up on the membership. I appreciate it, brother. Weapons, ammunition, oh. I have everything. Okay, so let's sell this stuff to this guy real quick. I've got something for you. Yeah, those two optics are worth quite a bit, actually. That body armor that I got is worth 6k, guys. Uh, oh man, yo, that kind of makes me want to sell it. How much does it cost, though? I guarantee it's probably way more than 6k. That sells for six. 15. It's the second best body armor in the game. Uh, Kondria, thank you so much for the super chat. How much love about your community is awesome. Thoughts on this game? It's a scam. Um, so the game is, you could consider it a scam in the way choice. of. Much Thanks love, Brian Hart, you they, community. Um, it's again. awesome. Tots on this game? It is a scam? Did you sew at Asmongold reaction? Why everybody is so pissed with this game? Tongue out, much love. I enjoy every stream. I appreciate you. And David, or Devin Lee, thank you so much for the membership. I appreciate it, brother. So the game marketed itself as, as one thing, as, a, as an open world zombie survival type of game. Um, and it, it's just not that at all. That's the, that's the issue is it, it said it was a zombie survival game and now it, it, it just isn't, you know what I mean? It's, it's the exact opposite of a zombie survival game. Um, it's an extraction shooter. So they, they scam people in that sense. Uh, but the game, people said the game was a scam because it wasn't real, but the game is real, obviously, but it's just nothing of what they said it was going to be. So in, in, in that essence, yeah, it's, it, it, it's, they marketed it horrible. Uh, you know, they got hype. They, they try to get people, you know, because if it was just another extraction shooter, people probably would have been like, eh. It's secure here. You know what I mean? Um, 
Oh, hold on. I, I think I had to have the suppressor. Maybe in my inventory. So what does it say? What this goes to? Suppressor SS3. Everything is ready. Take care of yourself. I feel like everything that's been happening in the past few years is just part of some crazy survival show. You can't even drive. What do you mean? I, I seen the cars, but what do you mean? Okay, so I don't know. Which... Hmm. But suddenly, all the walls came down. Seems like time literally heals in the cave. It's such a nice day today, isn't it? There can't be no... Listen, the guys. The storage room is at your service. There can't be no cars in the game. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, obviously, there's cars. They... Look at... We made out pretty well there, guys. Um, no cars, dude. Gotta go. I can I can head to my base real quick. See you again. I showed you got last last episode. My base is my base is. There's cars with no fuel. <laughs> yeah, we can go to my, we can go to my. What do you mean my tent? You mean my base? My base. I remember seeing a thing that said garage. Um. And then this place just has a whole weird vibe to it. You know what I mean? It's like it just doesn't fit the. The vibe. But, Yeah, we should go to the prison chat. Screw it, right? We'll go loot the prison. What do you mean my base is basic? What? Look! I got a fucking radio, dude. I got a radio and a lantern. Basic. Come on, dude. I put I got a bed, a dresser, a radio, a lantern fire pit that you can't do anything with that shit is come on come on dude MRD with the super chat brother thank you uh, game is a scam developers are um, they charge for games in alpha then sell the unfinished game off it's a money grab yeah I mean that, that was what I was worried about is them selling the game and then not finishing it. You know what I mean? Just kind of pulling like a DayZ uh, standalone back in the day. You know how they kind of like started and a bunch of people bought the game and then they kind of stopped and then, you know, DayZ got their shit together and, and finished the game. But uh, wait, I hit garage, dude. It's crazy how many games copy the extraction shooter and fail Tarkov still on top. I do believe when I played the Division Heartland, it was fun. Oh, Ricky, Ricky, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, you know, the one game I haven't given too much time is uh, is Tarkov. I've played it a little bit. I'm just really, really bad at that shit, so. Oh, I, guess I, I, I clicked. Kane, thank you for the seven months too, by the way. I really appreciate it. Um, I, you guys just seen I click garage. Let me see. Let me try this one more time. I play day we play day Z. Oh, it says Woodbury. So where the hell's the garage, guys? Where where do you buy cars at? Oh, 
Oh, it says right. I'm fucking an idiot, dude. There it is. God damn. <laughs> and now you see why no way's got a car, dude. 1.5 million, 1.8 million, 2 million. The cheapest one is this right here, the Canyon Colossal for 1.2 million. Like, uh, the question is when you buy the car, where exactly do you get going to drive? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I, I, I don't think anybody's bought a car yet because they, they haven't lived long enough, dude. All right, if you're playing this game actively, all right, and you're in the chat right now, what is the most money you've saved up right now? Because right now, my money is the highest it's ever been, and I'm sitting at like 3K. Like 30k? Yo, the crazy thing is that sounds like so much, man. Microtransactions, yo, that's what I'm thinking, dude. Ain't no way. They have it so you can spend real money. You spend ten dollars and you'll get like a hundred thousand Woodbury coins or some shit. Dude, they better not. They better not, dude. You have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot right, as we're possible. We're going to the fucking prison. To of course, I'd be super far south. Now, Chad, the good thing is I actually have an upgraded weapon now compared to before. There's a money glitch? Oh, jeez. Right, now I'm gonna have to fight players that are money glitching and have all the gear. Yeah, my goal right now is to get out of the town. Uh, I want to go check out that prison. Uh, it seems like the POIs are the places to go. Did they fix anything since um, release? Yeah, 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 of course. There's no more alarms, dude. No more alarms going off endlessly. You hear that? Listen. Nice. Uh, but there's still no zombies. There's still no fucking zombies. No, now chat, I, I don't don't worry about me in the refund, alright? Because I did not buy this game. Um I was not paid to play the game either, just so we can get that. I just was excited for the game. You know, we all were before it came out. I reached out to my Tona and just asked them for a free copy of the game, and they, they fucking gave it to me. So um, I get to play this game for free, which, you know, not other people are not, you know, as blessed or, or, or I mean, that some people would consider it a curse. But uh, some people are in my position, you know, where they can get the game for free. But I got the game for free. And yeah, so I, I don't don't worry about me and refunding it. <laughs> but even if I didn't, I played it way too long to refund it anyways. Just on the first day, I put like five hours into it. See, I'm just worried if there's if there's like exploits where people can like farm money and and and. and and bullets and shit dude i'm out here playing this shit normal as fuck bro i'm gonna get shredded 
You know, I'm gonna go up against guys that got full kit. And I, I think I'm over here winning with my little with my little UMP I looted. <laughs> you see, like I'm hearing new gun sounds. I ain't never heard that gun before. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I took the quest. I haven't done one yet because they're a little, uh, they weren't really worth it. And uh, I, I tried focusing too much on the quest last time we played and I kept getting caught in like a death loop where I was going out super under equipped and I didn't focus at all on building up. So today I've kind of logged on. I wanted to test out, you know, the zombies and See if there's been any changes, but I also wanted to try to play a bit different and actually try to get some extractions done. So this must be the main entrance. Yeah, so this is the main checkpoint into the city. That one we were taking before was like the uh yeah, we get sniped like a motherfucker right here. But yeah, uh, meta, the meta strat, guys, is to come up here and, and farm outside of the uh, city. Because this is where all the extractions are. Got a zombie. Dude, we got a zombie. What are my thoughts on this game versus Days Gone? You can't even compare the two games. Now, Days Gone is one of my favorite games of all time. Like, Days Gone has story. It has everything. This game is, uh... Doesn't have any story or anything like that. God damn it, tanky-ass zombie, bro. Yeah, they need to nerf the zombie tank in this bit. It... Shouldn't take that many headshots to drop a zombie. But I mean, I guess one zombie probably is because they're so so scarce. They want to make they want to make all the zombies last as long as possible. <laughs> they're like, you know what? If we make one zombie as strong as five zombies, then it will be like the players fight in five zombies. There it is, Chell. We figured out their mentality. We got it. It's, it's all we understand. We understand, dude. It's just for each zombie, it acts as five zombies. It's uh, it's the budget cuts, guys. All right, let's see. Okay, so yeah, prison's gonna be up over this way. I want to explore a little bit. Hey, Val, it is what it is, man. Hey, listen, I, when the developers give me games, you know, I, I tell them outright, like, hey, listen, I'm not going to be rude. Um, and, and that's I'm with any game, you know what I mean? Um, unless it's the Walking Dead Destinies. I'm, I'm never going to just be blatantly disrespectful, you know, to, to a developer. Like, if I don't like the game that much, I'm just not going to even talk about it. I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to put So do you think the game deserves as much hate as it's getting? Yes. I feel like if they don't abandon it, it could be decent. Um, so yeah, I do feel like the game deserves the hate it's getting, um, for sure, because it was just... They... They marketed it terrible, you know what I mean? They, they lied outright, and players should be very mad if they get lied to. Um, there's basic functions that games like this need to have, like vaulting and even a prone position, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, the game definitely deserves some hate. Would I say it's unplayable? No, you know what I mean? Like, I've played worse games, put it that way. Uh, 
But yeah, I, I definitely understand why everybody's pissed off. 100%. What do you think? Should I buy the game? No. Keep up the good work, Brian. Yeah, don't... One of my fav streamers, I say it all the time, full score. Um, I would not buy the game unless what you're seeing is just wet in your pants. You're like, dude, I need to do this. Um, other than that, no, because what you see is what you get. Uh, but yeah, listen, I'm not going to lie about a game like for the sake of a developer. No, if they give me their game, they know I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell people how it is. If I don't think you should buy the game, hey, you don't... <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I mean? This game is freaking $40. You know what I mean? Especially right now. And, and there's so many games that just came out that are coming out. Yo, how do you even get to the prison, dude? It's like a, legit on an island. Can you go in the water? Can you swim? I never tried. Oh, you can't swim? Well, how the fuck do you get to the damn prison? Is that DLC? <laughs> That's DLC, chat. I love Starfield. I mean, Starfield, like a lot of people hate Starfield. I personally, um, I personally like Starfield a lot. I had, a, I had a blast playing it. Really? So you gotta be positioned just right. How did they lie? So they marketed the game as a zombie open world zombie survival MMO. Um, and the game is not that a little bit there. It's a PVP extraction shooter like Tarkov. It's a third person Tarkov with it's like a it's like a third person. It's like a division Tarkov hybrid has absolutely nothing to do with survival whatsoever. There's no survival mechanics like, yeah, you got to eat and drink. Kind of like only when you're out and about, but as long as you get back fast enough, you don't have to eat, you don't have to drink. Um, so there really isn't any survival mechanics. There's no base building, there's no crafting, there's none of that. It's like they don't have any crafting, and I thought there would be for sure some kind of crafting in the game. There's none that's like a staple for zombie survival games, you know what I mean. All right, so now that we're out here, um, yeah, maybe I'll go hit the, the, the hospital POI, I guess, since we can't get to the prison. Prison must be uh, DLC. Uh, how, ASA, Val? Oh, yeah, I, I've definitely been enjoying ARCs uh, quite a bit. I uh, will probably be playing Ark tomorrow. I know I got a little backlogged over the past few days, but uh, everything should be back. Business is used tomorrow. I'm not trying to walk over there, dude. People say you could die. I got all the gear on me right now. Unless it's the ankle deep state of decay water.
Robert, some, some, saw somebody else do what? I mean, the prison looks dope, man. I'm pretty sure, like, there's a fucking helicopter up there and shit. A lot, it looks like there's a lot of military over there. Well, the water looks deep. You got oh, so you got to have full stamina, no, and not be overweight. You can't swim. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it then. So the hospital's on the other side of the market here. If I could play any upcoming game in full completion right now before anybody... Uh, probably State of Decay 3 or the Star Wars Outlaws game. That new Star Wars game looks fire as hell. The one made, being made by Yubi. Um, that game looks dope as hell. And obviously stated K3. No, I had GTA 6 for two. Yeah, GTA 6 would be fire. The day before surround dead? Uh, definitely surrounded. All right, nice. We got a little bit more nine millimeter. But you see what I'm saying? It's just there's no resistance. There's nothing to worry about other than players right now. Like, you would think these places would be swarming with zombies, you know what I mean? Because if not, you're just, just walking around, just looting and leaving. Dead side. Wait, isn't that that game that everybody said was terrible? Wait, so what, what, are people saying this is worse than that, that, that other game that just came out? What was it dead dead matter? No, I think it might have been dead matter that people were. I remember I think Ray Kit or somebody played it and they said, Oh, I got a fucking helmet, guys. Alright, so now I got yo, we're really getting geared here, guys. Really getting geared. I'm like an end game fucking DayZ player right now. Yeah, I remember people saying something about dead matter. So what's worse, this or dead matter? Oh, heard a gun. Heard some more shit. I'm going to this prison too. My goal was to come to this uh, this area because I thought it was going to be peaceful, but sounds like people are really getting it in. This jabroni shooting at, dude. Where the fuck you get all this ammo from, dude? I got like 20 bullets, man. This guy has shot all the ammo I've ever collected in the game just in the time frame that we've been walking up to this place.
Fake gunshots. I know you guys said that last time and there was legit a player there. I get complacent and I think it's fake gunshots and I'm gonna get fucking shredded. I don't know if I should go into this building here. Seems a bit sketch. See zombies inside the hospital. Multiples. Oh wait, that's not a zombie. It's a fucking light. Never mind. Thought those were two heads. You hear that? Heard a zipper? Somebody's here. Yeah, somebody's looting. You can hear him going. I think he's upstairs. Zip sound. Heard somebody else zip. Upstairs?
Better not be like ambient fucking sounds, dude. Sound like he's. I think he might be above me if there is somebody in here. Because the third floor was blocked off, but there was a f access to the fourth floor. I'm not pressing F1 and fucking sh letting him know I'm here. At least right now, I'm. It's haunted, guys. Maybe there's ghosts. I think a zombie might have spawned in. There's a safe here. So the same noise I'm making is the same noise I was hearing, and I don't hear it anymore. Oh, there it is. I was getting close to it, didn't it? Damn, how many fucking floors are there in this damn place?
They're fucking footsteps, guys. Those are fucking footsteps, dude. No, those weren't my footsteps. Not that time. Not that time, dude. On the top fucking floor now, bro. Is nerve wracking as fuck for no reason, dude. Thirsty, ain't I? I got water though. Yeah, I got water. I ain't worried about it. If there is. That's a goddamn zombie. Stupid fuck. Well, the fucking zombie wasn't looting, bro. Oh, you'll be got another one of those uh, PS4 things. Let's loot this zombie, though. There's two ways up. There's another way up and down right there. Now I'm overweight. We're gonna head out. to get to extract right now uh, we just got to leave the hospital and go around the back side uh, 
I only got 16 fucking bullets, chat. Like, there ain't no way people got ammo like that. And I got, I got more ammo in my... My rifle here, so it's not like I'm only with these 16 bullets, but... Damn, how many floors did I go down already? Okay, fuck. So it's like, Jesus Christ. That was uneventful. Stressful. In fact, the game was just trolling with fucking ambient noise. Man, I heard fucking footsteps, guys, but I think it was the zombies' footsteps. Yeah, it was a big building. Definitely a big building. Uh, Joey, thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. Have I played the Stanley? I don't know what that is, Joey. Can you play this game with friends? Yeah, I think you can play up to a four-player co-op. Or you could party up to four players. Got another zombie, dude. Yo, they Have you played the Stanley Parable? Did I just get two zombies? Now I'm hungry. Two whole zombies, dude. So yeah, I mean, it's playing a bit better. Not, not that it's playing. I'm playing a bit better than I did on release. Um, so obviously I'm getting more gear, but it's still... I don't know. We'd have to get into a real fight with a player to see... How that feels. Um, yo, we got another zombie! Said so this is three zombies within just a, like a hundred meters.
That's what three extractions I've actually pulled Our off today. Holy crap! Three zombies, guys. Uh, four, four counting the one in the hospital. Look at me walking around looking like I've been playing this game for months. Hey, glad to see you're okay. Shall for I open the storage months, room for you? Chat. The rest of this all can get sold. Oh, we'll keep the first aid. Nah, you know what? I got these that I don't Because the thing is, when you die, it's just like... Great. Healing really is never a, th a thing See for the again. most part. Okay, so... So, player here is pretty geared. It's a nice AR style there. Kind of just scoping out people's Don't gear. Were the shotguns we better or something? There's a lot of people running shotties. Damn. Look at, look at this guy with the kid at AK. TY sauce is. He's, he's, he plays the day before chat. Always stock up on everything you can, though. You never know what might. Weapons, ammunition, armor. I have everything. I never said the graphics were bad. There's a lot of people that said the graphics were bad. I mean, the graphics for me are. Don't hesitate. They're, Pick they're what all you right. Want. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say they're bad. I wouldn't say they're, you know, great either. But yeah, they're definitely not that bad. Oh, made 1800 right there. So I got enough money, I think. See you again. So does anybody know what the, uh, let me see, trade. Maybe the gun I have is an the extensive arsenal. Choose what you want. So I got an SS3 suppressor. So I don't know if like, each gun has its own suppressor, or just the guns I have can't use that suppressor. But I don't see an SS3. See you, buddy. I already got armor. Yeah, I got I got the second best armor in the game. I they showed crafting in the trailer. I haven't seen where that that dude did the crafting. Yeah, I don't I don't know. He like heals in the case of SARS infected. There is no crafting menu. Case of illness in months. Hey there, do you need something? Your belongings will be safe and sound. All right, let me see here. So now I'm up to 4,400. Yeah, here it is. So the suppressor SS3. I don't, I don't know, guys. Yeah, I can't figure out how to, what this equips to. It doesn't go on the UMP because I tried. It doesn't work. Mm. Handgun suppressor, maybe?
I mean, I could buy a handgun. Come again. See you again. And then buy some 9mm to go up my UMP. <laughs> you know what? I actually like trading weapons more what than What can I do for you, buddy? Yes, they're right. Everything happens for a reason. I have an extensive arsenal. Yeah, this is what you want. So they have three different handguns. We can get the like Beretta, the Glock. This one has better damage. It's 385. We'll get this one here, the Beretta. All right. And now I'm going to go see if I can Thanks. customize Come this again. thing at the bench. See you, buddy. Nope, doesn't go to that either. So what the hell does this damn thing go to? Looking good. Put your things in here. I'm going to have to get some more 9mm though. Done. Take care of yourself. Stock up on everything you can, buddy. Hey, All right, so we're gonna buy some ammo. Take a look at my goods. Don't hesitate. Pick what you like. Let me see if I could at least... If we can at least use the, the hand grip see you on again. it. Until we meet again. Alright. Let's see if it actually works. Yep, so now we can put the... Yeah, so the suppressor just doesn't go to any of the weapons I have then. Yeah, we got to figure out what weapon it goes to, because as soon as I got that grip, tactile grip opens up. There it is. This place is genuine civilization. Hey, want to take a look at my 16 goods? months, thank you so much. Amazing Christmas filled with uh, family and love and a beautiful new year. If you don't see, hey, it's all good. I appreciate you, Misty. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you have a great holiday yourself. Can I help you with something? All right. So we're going to. I'm going to get a handful of this. And then a handful of nine mil. Thank you for your purchase. Until we meet again.
3,500 still. Ask questions to the vendor. He'll tell you what gun it goes to. Really? Huh? <laughs> you know what? Hey, how's it going, bud? Didn't say anything. Until we meet again. Alright, let's hey, go ahead and store our money. Your belongings will be safe and sound. I actually got a decent bit of 556 five, also. I, I can afford to buy the M16. I thought about buying the M16 um, and using it over this because Ready. What do you if guys you think? Need Should I just see go? You again. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should just splurge and buy an M16? I, know what it's like. I got a ton of 556. We only live what once, right, guys? For you, buddy? It's fucking YOLO. Let's Let me see. take a look. Yeah, this one right here. The Buffalo Rifle 556. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's grab that. Until we meet again. I'm gonna throw this I'll uh forget, Sometimes missing. Oh. Seems like time literally heals in the case of Sar. How can I help? Alright, so what we're gonna do The storage room is at your service. Store that. I'm gonna grab this. Uh grab my money. I don't know if I can put this hollow site on the I probably doubt that we'll go to the M4, but we'll try anyways. And yeah, we'll rock 120. You don't months. have to worry about the safe. Take care of yourself. This place is genuine civilization. Hey, want to take a look at my goods? Let's take a look. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll buy the M16 here. Great choice. Thanks for the purchase. See you, buddy. The army taught me to do daily So expensive, guys. So this is where we're rocking right now. Yeah, so the suppressor isn't going on this either. In the, I can't put the sight on it either. But it's all good. Oh, we got another rifle we can use. What a gun that guy has, man. <laughs> That's a really nice gun. How are you doing? Heading into the world outside? It's secure here. Alright, so we got heals. I got drink. Um, I'm gonna buy... Ready. If you we, need. we should be good. We should be good. See you again. Right, let's go test out this new gear. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, most players, I don't, I don't. Maybe a lot of people aren't really using cheats because a lot of players look like they're just normally geared. You'd think if, if there was like exploits, people would be like, like these dudes are definitely over here exploiting. You know, look at them, fucking super expensive ass backpacks. M4s, best backpack in the game. Super awesome ballistic helmet, body armor. Why are you cheating, dude? I'm gonna go try to do a mission right now, actually, because they they up the play the pay, five thousand. Um, which one was the one we started? We already got the 
guitar piece for one of them. Uh, I think it was Mike here, right? No, this guy wants... Supercharge. Find three batteries. You know what? Let's do it. Oh, we're going, we're going out. Like if I die, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I got, I, the thing is, is even if I die, I got, I got backup gear back in the base. I got more backpacks. I got money. Uh, I got guns and things like that. So I wanted to come out with my kit here. And you have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to Woodbury. I'm pretty kid though. All right, let me check this map. That's where it is. Oh shit, a mission is literally right here, dude. That's awesome. I and mean, if we can pull this mission off, this 5k, guys. Should have bought a bigger bat. No, come on, dude. Be careful against the curbs right there. You get stuck. Ha! Ah, it's one battery. That's what we're looking for, right? Yep. That's what we're looking for. We already got one. Wait, so you could load a backpack and then put the backpack in the backpack? Oh shit, so we get the bagception. It seems clear. Yeah, it's fucking loud as shit, dude. Relax.
just got a fucking backpack, dude. So, so what do you, what do I, how do, how do I, uh, would I swap the other backpack, like, once mine is full? Or just drag stuff onto the extra backpack? Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So what I've learned is the car batteries, like the way the mission loot works is it's as long as you're in the circle, it's like RNG. Like loot is just 100% random in this game, I feel. And uh, as long as you're in the circle looting, damn, we're overweight already, dude. Yeah, see, it won't let me drag anything onto it. I know they did patch something with backpacks the other, uh, in their patch. You kidding me? That's more than one player for sure. There's no way, dude, I'm going to be able to get multiple batteries. I'm already overweight. This game is not worth the 40 bucks, no. Like I tell people, unless you're absolutely obsessed with extraction shooters and this one is just your your thing, um, I would definitely say to wait 100%. Drop what I don't need? I feel like I need everything, dude. This shit's all worth money. Three, this is, that's kind of heavy. Damn, this, that's that gear. That gear is 10. Why is that so fucking heavy? This is in the mission zone.
Seriously? Oh, nice, get an MRE. Dude. Shit, my fucking pants. You can make a couple trips for the batteries. Yeah, yeah, you just, you just go back and you come out. Yeah, you go back and forth, back and forth. I was trying to see what the hell was going on with that noise. No, I hit him a couple times. Didn't kill him. I think that's.
I know I hit the dude a couple times, man. I think my player bailed. I'm gonna push down to the other extraction point, the one near motel. I was going to play Ark and uh, Arma today, but I got uh, something I'm doing with the fam tonight. And my son had a hockey game and everything this morning. So um, I pushed that off to tomorrow. I'm going to be releasing a video tonight while I'm out for you guys. And then um, tomorrow we should be back business as usual. Damn. I'm not going to be able to push down here, am I? Blocked off. Yeah, so that's all the way on the other side. We're going to have to push this entry point here. There's an extraction literally right there behind the warehouses, so we could try it out. Two of them? I killed him, guys. I killed him. No, 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 you fucking bitch.
Guys, did you see the backpack that man had? That's what I'm saying. He had the best fucking backpack in the game. I was right. That wasn't even that long, guys. I dropped him. It, I, I, that's that needs to be a priority, man. You can't have the bodies, the, like just despawning in fucking one minute, bro. And he had a full auto, man. Man, I got a fucking, oh, dude, it's so annoying. What's the extraction? Well, at least they... No, people could still camp the fuck out of that. That was bullshit. Fucking leave, chat. Just trying to make up for my losses, okay? I was trying to make up for my losses. Stay still. Our boys are on their way. Glad to see you're okay. Shall I open the storage room for you? Mm. I actually did burn a decent bit of 556 in that uh in that outing. Store the battery. Loot-wise, guys, we barely got anything. Like, that's it. That's all I got to sell. I mean, granted, we got another backpack. We got, uh, you know, the MRE. We got the freaking one of the batteries. Come anytime. Do I know? So I got two keys. Oh, let me see. What were my keys to, actually? For you. I have there will always be a 241 place in the storage room. Azure something. What did that say? Uh, I got a key there, and then I got this key here. I thought this key might have went to the motel. That that place right near the extraction point. Is that the Azure building? Is, is that a POI?
Let me go sell this stuff real quick. You don't have to worry about the safety of your belongings. Well, the reason why I'm not selling backpacks right now is because I'm still at the point where if I die, I'm going to need a replacement backpack. Hey, take care. It is safe. Always stock up on everything you can. What can I do for you, buddy? I can't believe that shit, chat. We dropped that, dude. I walked up. I seen the big, juicy backpack as I'm... And then I just watched can him I fade away. Something? Looks like you're going to have some fun today. Until we meet again. He's outside the shop right now. Sometimes you miss my old life. Consider Poor dude. We're living in historic. Hey, how's it going? All right, so let's go ahead. Put your Damn it, dude. In I'm really in my feelings right now, guys, about that. Nineteen. Great. Take care of yourself. Kai, I mean, yeah, we're all we're all kind of collectively coming together and just and feeling out the game and, and trying to like point out all the things that actually suck because. The one thing I, I, I dislike um, is when, hey man, how are you doing? Uh, like reviewers, for instance, like you know when you do a review for a game, and you just go out and you just say, this game sucks, and then I just tell you why I think the game sucks. The only issue with that is that stuff can be pretty subjective. Now, do I think this game sucks? Yeah, it, it's it's. It, I didn't kill you, bro. I totally did kill you. Predator. If you're wa if you're watching my stream right now, Predator, come over here and crouch on the ground. There's been no such amount of exhaust and harmful gases from cars and factories as before. He's not he's not watching the stream chat. Um, but it turns out so. The, the thing I, I dislike about, like, reviews is people just live like, yo, the game sucks, blah, 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 blah. And and then you got nothing to base it off of. You're just kind of taking their word for it, and you're saying, okay, yeah, the game sucks. But I play the game, you know, and now you guys can come and sit here and watch and see the game in its entirety yourself and, and build that conclusion yourself of, yeah, I'm watching this gameplay, and I do not like this. This is bad. This is ass. This is whatever. You know what I mean? So hey man, that's kind of how I, I showcase games. I don't do like, you know, chopped up recorded reviews where, you know, I'm just kind of clipping stuff and showing you. I let you guys just watch the raw gameplay and build your own um, <laughs> opinion of the game. You know what I mean? Well, the, I mean, you're right, Val, but still, it was just a test to see. You have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to Woodbury. So, let me see. It's, I had missions. I don't know if the missions go away after a while. Oh, they do. So th I had that guitar one, and that one's gone now. So it seems like the missions change. Damn, this is fucking far, bro. Zombie or player? Uh, neither. It's a hole.
Yeah, so we got a long stroll up north. The one thing is, is uh, where this mission location is. It is relatively close to the extraction point. I wonder if there's like a render limit to when like players will come in like to site like or I wonder if they render in as far that sounds like a gun I want to get my hands on dude That gal blue, thank you for the 10 months and uh rude gaming. Thank you for this uh the membership. Welcome to the family, bro. I appreciate it. Shit, I wish he would shoot again. It sound That sounds like one of them starter rifles. One guy letting off the full auto this way. Uh, did I play Division Heartland pre? I, I had the opportunity to though, Ricky. I didn't. I didn't do it though because um, when it comes to games and like pre-alphas and shit like that, like like yeah, it's a good opportunity. But I, I don't play any games uh, off stream. Like you know what I mean. So when I play a game, I want to experience it with you all for the first time. So that's why I, I was like, if I can't stream it, I told Ubisoft, if I can't stream it, uh, just give it to somebody else. You know what I mean? Um, because yeah, my thing is is I. If I'm gonna play a game for the first time, I want the first time to be legit with you guys. Um, what the fuck is it make? You know, what does it do for me to just sit here and play the Division, Heartland? You know, on my own time. Like, I, I don't game on my own time, anyways. So, so I I I, I, I pretty much didn't uh, take it. Andrew with the 16, brother. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the love, dude. Uh, will this be the last time we play this game? Probably. Um, probably be the last time I play it until they drop some crazy big update or something that completely revamps it. Because I don't know if people are genuinely interested in watching the gameplay like the gameplay is decent enough for you guys to watch and enjoy somewhat 
um, or if you guys are more interested in just kind of figure out what's going, you know what I mean? Because right now there's just kind of what's going on with this game, you know what I mean? And a lot of people are kind of interested. They want to just kind of check it out to see what the game's all about. Not necessarily that they're loving the gameplay, you know what I mean? Casa with the raid, brother. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the love, dude. Oh, Rusty, I appreciate that, man. Zombie. I don't want to shoot because I'm trying to sneak up on this player, wherever he may be. We're almost to our mission location. I've never played Star Citizen, not yet. I do actually plan on playing. Isn't there like a huge story part coming to Star Citizen? Yeah, I believe this is the mission location here. Yeah, I'm gonna. But Harlock with the 15, thank you so much. Have I tried Frostpunk yet? No, I have not. Ooh, got a battery. Boom. So we just need one more. One more battery, baby. I wonder if you could only get one per extraction. Can you get multiple chat? Does anybody know? Let's just let's pop out on me. Bitch, I could see you. I just don't want it to pop out and then we have to shoot it. Can get multiple. Okay. Why would a company promise a product and release something not what was promised? They should know that people are going to be mad and refund it, right? Oh, courage you would think, right, dude? Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, but that, that's why I don't have a whole lot of hope for the future of the game. Because I'm like, man, if y'all couldn't even be honest about the game and you had to hide its true nature or what it really was, meant they felt some kind of shame or they were... I don't know. I don't know. Or the thing is, the only thing, the only thing I could think is, is they did it. They had big ambitions for the game. And then with all the delays and cancellations and this and this and that, that this was all they could salvage together. You know what I mean? Maybe they did have some huge zombie survival, open world MMO planned. You know what I mean? But this, this is what they could get. So, uh, uh, who, I don't. I could not tell you what their reasoning was. Uh, but either way, it's not never okay to lie. You know what I mean? Just be honest. You know what I mean? Tell people what the damn game is. Uh, you know what I mean? And if they would have marketed it as an extraction shooter, you know what I mean? They probably would have actually aimed it at the proper audience. 
because they marketed it as a open world survival MMO, zombie survival MMO. So that's who was looking into the game. And I'm like, yo, if you would have just marketed it for what it was, you probably would have what probably would have done better because people would have expected that right off the bat and people would have went into it um, because there was probably a ton of extraction shooter players, Tarkov players and stuff like that, that never even gave this game a look because they they're not interested in that genre. You know what I mean? Uh, no, I've never played Star Citizen. I don't play a whole lot of PvP or... Ooh, shit. Those type of games usually, um... I'm, I'm really bad at them. As you guys see, even in this game, I'm, I'm pretty bad at PvP. It's not my strong suit. Ed, holy shit, brother, with the 28, man. Thank you so much, dude. Came into here. <laughs> but it's probably some people that like this game more than Baldur's Gate, right? Any of you guys in chat like this game more than Baldur's Gate 3? But I had some real big, like, the amount of people that were hating on Baldur's Gate was crazy. But then Baldur's Gate also has the, the, the most love. It's like extreme on both sides. Oh, there it is. Got our batteries. All right, we can get the hell out of here. I'm overweight too. All right, let's, bad spot, but. This is going to be my first task I've ever completed, dude. So is there like a downside of being overweight? Like, do you lose stamina faster or, or what the, what, what's going on here? I mean, I still think this game is way better than like Walking Dead Destinies and Kong. That Kong game was, it was, it was, it was terrible, bad guys. Holy shit. Like this to me is playable to, uh, to an extent, you know what I mean? Uh, not for $40, you know what I mean? But it's playable. It's a game I could turn on and actually play and not turn off based off of just pure cringe. Um, Cause obviously if it was that bad, I would not be playing this fucking game right now. But, uh, The Kong game, I couldn't even play it, like, longer than I did. I was like, nah, dude. I felt like on day one, I ran into so many players all the time and now it's like obviously the servers aren't as full as they were I don't think but also I don't know if people's looting patterns are just different seems like players are maybe because we all understand how the game works a little bit better Everybody's refunding it before that two hour mark. Seasonal, thank you, thank you. 11 Charlie in the house, how you doing, brother? Love the content, man. Looking forward to starting uh, contest. Hey, good luck on them, man. I wish you the best. 
It's a hell of a grind, man. I tell anybody who gets into content creation, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Um, Cause it is a grind. The thing I think they need to add to in this that would like like zombies obviously but even like NPCs like bandit NPCs or something like that you know to give us something else to fucking shoot at dude melee some bandits other NPCs kind of like how Tarkov has the the scabs and shit the, uh, Stay still. the bots Our boys that run are around. on their way Good to see you. Anything of value for the storage? So I got all three of those. Everything is ready. See you again. Okay, so when you're done with the mission, now what do you do? Okay, so I find the required items. Okay, I got the items now. Who was that How are for? Going? Remember. Zombies Mike. go down fast with the headshots. Who the fuck was Mike? If you need to put anything to the storage. All the walls came down and a big crowd appeared, applauding and cheering. Hey man, how are you doing? Mike, Mike. The owner of this place, the guy down here, was in his, his name was Chris, right? Keep it up. This guy was Chris, right? Yeah, that's Chris. Yeah, I just looked in the bar. I didn't... Oh, here's Mike. Okay, we got him. Woodbury has been booming lately, which is great. Hey there. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Mike. I always have the rarest goods in the entire city for sale. I know you enjoy exploring the neighborhood, but if you need top-notch gear without any hassle, feel free to come to me. Hmm? What does he have for sale? Let's see. What do you want? Okay, so he ha he. What is this currency, though? I don't recognize that. I got twenty-five of whatever that is. Rep. How how do you get rep? I wonder if you get like complete the test. Do you get rep from tasks? Just maybe? what we need. Thank you, friends. I'll message you again if we need help. Let's see. So I just turned in a quest. Choose what you need, my friend. Oh yeah, I got rep. I got rep from turning in that quest right there, guys. I got fifty. Fifty rep and five thousand coins. Yeah, so I got a little bit of both. I was able to get. Um, and you can sell to this dude too. No, you can't. Looking forward to seeing you again. Yeah, I got 50 rep and 5,000 Woodbury coins. Be careful out there, okay? <laughs> 280 more of those missions and you could buy it. Yo, that's absolutely insane, the price, man. I did, that 5K is big, though. Hey, soldier, what do you need? don't have to worry about the quality of the goods. Everything here is top notch. Is 
See, now I'm balling out of control. You're welcome. Come again. See you, Balling buddy. out of control, dude. The Walking Dead, dead game going to be game of the year. I don't know about that, man. Seems like time literally heals in the case. Hey there. Do you need something? Your belongings will be safe and sound. So all together, we're up to 7,500, guys. I feel like I'm balling out of control. Like, literally. I can afford anything now. I can afford anything now. Not really. Everything is ready. But if I, if I were to try to make a big purchase, because now that we got this M16, I don't know what I would want. Yeah, definitely not a car. You definitely can't afford a car. How's it going, buddy? How can I help? Don't hesitate. Pick what you like. It's hard. Uh, I wonder if anyone will ever nail the elusive zombie MMO. So I, I, I've, I've, I've wondered that myself. You know, like, it, is the game we want even possible? Like, realistically, like, do you guys think they could really do a zombie MMO? Because a lot of, I mean, the closest thing we have to, like, a zombie MMO would be, like, a Project Zomboid. Um... And I feel like Zomboid's pretty cool. You know what I mean? It, it, it's definitely the, yeah, I'd say Zomboid's probably the closest, but a game with like graphics like this, but the same feel as Zomboid, I don't, I don't know if that's possible, guys. Day Z's not a zombie game though. Like, like, like there's zombies in the game, but they're so they're like almost it's it's a step above this. Like when I play Day Z, the zombies are a non-factor. It's always the players. It's that's all you care about. That's all you worry about in in games. Day Z, um, you know, it, it, it has seven days to die. Yeah, that's a zombie game. Like you focus on the zombies are the main focus. But um, Scum, I would say, is maybe a step up from. Day, Day Z when it comes to the zombies but even then you know and scum the the you know I don't know because then you got like the scum definitely has a lot more PVE elements with the bunkers the big machines um, all the different types of puppets and stuff like that but it's still the players are the main the main thing dead frontier I've never even heard of that World War Z was a spammy uh, shooter. It was like like one of those um, like co-op multiplayer wave shooters. It wasn't a zombie survival game, really. The Last of Us Factions 2, that's never coming out, man. They were supposed to talk about it this year. They only got like 20 days left. Days Gone is a single player Zombies Scum is game. further along than this game, with less money and time. Seems like a very watered down division. Oh uh, yeah, Courage, yeah. I mean, Scum is in a completely different league than this game here. Back for Blood is another multiplayer spammy shooter like Left 4 Dead. That's not really a survival game or an MMO. I've never heard of Dead Frontier. The Mist is a single-player zombie survival game. Um, that one's pretty good because it has NPCs, PV, but that one's single-player. That's why I'm saying the whole, the whole like MMO, massive multiplayer online, because that's what MMO is. You know, it's just it's a massive multiplayer online, c players existing in in you know the same instance, the same server, and and stuff like that. But you know, obviously, that's the dream. The, the, the issue with games like that is the toxicity. Uh, no matter what your, your ideas or like players, unless you just turn off PVP, but you know, obviously there has to be some kind of element of PVP. P P people just love to fucking grief, man. It, it just is what it is. Players love being toxic. 
they love griefing people and and you see it in every pvp game that exists scum rust daisy um but every s single one of those type of games it people fucking they're just toxic as hell so it's always the toxicity that ruins those games they just it ruins them but you know obviously if it was all in harmony and and players played like you know we all envision like yeah most of these games would probably be super amazing but realistically people just go and they just start shooting people they go and raid bases and take shit they don't need just because they want to you know what i mean it's just and that will never go away if, there, if you have to have some element of pvp for people to have that freedom to feel like it's a real zombie apocalypse but then to have that freedom means that players are going to abuse that freedom and make the game shit. So, Days Gone is a uh, single player exclusive. There is no multiplayer ex at all in that game. I'll, I'm going to look up Dead Frontier. Yeah, I'll look it up after this for sure. F I wouldn't go that far, man. I wouldn't go that far, I, dude. I've been, I've, I've played with people, uh, grown ass adults that are just as toxic as any fucking kids, man. It's just people. Some people just, they, they love chaos, man. They love fucking up. Like there is literal people in the world that just enjoy fucking somebody up, like pissing somebody off, ruining somebody's day. They like. They feed off it, dude. They, they, it fuels them, dude. It's, it, it, age is irrelevant when that. It's just people, man. People just love that shit, dude. Humanity is, um, it, it's, it's still not a massive, it, it's co-op, um, but we're talking massive multiplayer online. You know, and, that, and that's where the, you know, there's a big disparity between gamers. Some people want immersion, community, um, realism. You know, they want to live out the zombie apocalypse with their friends and have big communities get built and guys go out and run missions and, and do this and do that. And they, and they fight. The, and, you know, then they have warring factions and it's a very like scripted, almost like RP servers, you know, like there's a lot of people that like if, if, if games like this, you know, had like RP servers. That's why some of the best Rust servers, some of the best DayZ servers, they're all RP servers because there's rules and regulations in place that prevent that toxicity but that's not the mainstream you know what i mean so and you, there is instances where you can get that and that's where the community rp servers come in um even like gta you look at gta online and stuff like that but when it comes to just the overarching official live servers that it, it's impossible to find for the most part all right no room for slackers let's make this um, day count but yeah, so with the money I got, the best gun I could afford is the UMP, which I have two of already, or, uh, and the the MP5 here. But AK is 12K. Um, this Patriot M4 is 16K. Shit is quite expensive. A couple good loot runs and, and you'd be all right, but... See you, buddy. Courage, thank you, thank you for the super chat, brother. Listen, man, I had I played Rust back in the day, right? My, uh, it was the first like massive multiplayer online game that I played outside of like DayZ uh, mod and I, 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 I tried playing Rust and guys Rust official servers dude you knew how amazing the corn was on our farm that shit is beyond toxic beyond into the world outside? toxic I couldn't even play the game dude there was like max level players with, with all just running around just killing all the fresh spawns I didn't even have anything, and they just ran up and killed me. I'm like, bro, are you fucking kidding me? Like, for what? But, um... Put your things in here. All right, guys. But Done. this is that. I just kind of wanted to jump in. See you again. Give this another look. Put it out there for people who kept asking me, you know, why aren't you playing the day before? It's just not... It's not it, guys. It's not the game I thought it was going to be. Um, we'll have to see what they do in the future with the game. Uh, as of right now, it's not really something that I'm... It's okay. 
You know what I mean? If you're in a PvP, but even then, somebody, you know, it's just people are, it's hard to find people. It's no zombies. There's nothing to do. It's just a looting simulator. Right now, like, I swear to chat, like right now, this game just feels like a looting simulator. You, you, you go out, you walk, and you loot. Brian, who hurt you? Tell me where it. the bad man touched you. Lol, winking face. There, there's, there's nothing else to the game um, other than just looting. That's it. That's the main feature. Uh, so you can team up with other players in this. Yeah, up to four players you can have in a, in a team. Nakwa? Uh, no, I haven't heard of that one yet, Macho. Uh, today we didn't die at all. Yeah, I didn't die at all today. I actually completed like four loot runs. It was it was a pretty successful, um, way better today than I did the other day. So, um, yeah, there it is, guys. But I just wanted to jump in. I wanted to talk about it. Um, show another episode of, you know, and, and tell you guys and show you guys, you know, what I thought about the game. And yeah, there's that. So uh, tonight, I, uh, or I would advise you guys, um, if you're wondering if you should buy this game or not, I would definitely hold off. I'm not saying never buy the game, because who knows, in a year's time, they could cram, jam-pack all types of cool features and, and really fix the game. But as of right now, no. Wait to see if they update the game, add more stuff to it. If they do have a huge update or something like that, I'll I'll I'll, I'll keep this game, you know, tracking. I'll keep following it and 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 looking at the updates and stuff like that. And if I feel like anything super super significant happens, we could jump in and revisit it later in the future, but I feel like it's going to be a while before we get anything um that's like noteworthy like okay, yeah, let, let let's actually check this out again. Um I never even played Dave the Diver, Macho. Uh, Neil with the 12 months. With the one year, man. Uh, you should play the game with the Raptor. What game with the Raptor? And I have not tried Undone. I don't know what that is either. Now I'm going to go check out Dead Frontier and Undone. I, don't, I have no clue what, what either of those games are. I'll look them up after stream. All right, guys. So thank you so much again. I um, appreciate the love and the support. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the content, period, uh, not necessarily this game, just the content of the channel, hey, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It helps out so much. So many of you guys subscribed over the past, uh, like, few days. It's, it's, it's been absolutely amazing. So um, I, I really appreciate the love. But uh, I got some stuff we're going to be doing tonight with the fam. So I will not be doing another stream I will be releasing a video though. I'm on premiere it, so I'll be in, I'll pop in the chat, talk a little bit. Um, but there won't be a legitimate live stream again tonight. So uh, you, if I don't see you guys in a, in the premiere later, you have a great rest of your night. And uh, for everybody else, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.